so tomorrow, Sunday, September 28th, I think, or 27th, I forget which one it is, but there's a super moon, and a full moon, and a blood moon, and a full lunar eclipse, and we're in Mercury retrograde right now, so I just wanted to send out a little PSA. There's no real um, earth-shattering info in here other than I wanted to share with you guys what I've been experiencing because... I think that it might be some really intense stuff, and also I've found a couple ways to deal with the intense energies. So, for me, I haven't really had much drama go on as far as Mercury retrograde kind of drama goes. I have seen it around that there have been funny scheduling glitches, there have been communication glitches, but also, luckily, most people in my world now recognize that this is a funny time for that, so it's not like egos get really triggered or anything because everyone knows that it's pretty cool. So, when things don't go right, just laugh it off and say, it's Mercury retrograde, what are you going to do? Move on. Because what this time does is it brings up the stuff that irritates us, so then we can burn it off because we burn it off by having to face it, and especially those of us who are choosing to do a conscious ascension path on purpose, we're gonna take it seriously and move forward. Okay, that's thing number one. Thing number two is to make sure that you're taking good care of your body right now. For instance, for me, I'm needing more rest. I'm not able to work out and go do stuff the way I normally would, and so rather than judging myself, I'm just giving it to myself. And yesterday, I had an injury which never happens to me. I never get injured, but I was rollerblading and I hit a patch of gravel and my feet went out into me and I swear it was one of those slow motion falls where you're totally horizontal for a second and I felt like I was levitating and then bumped down on the ground. Now, that was a day ago and the impact was pretty intense, although it didn't, it, it felt kind of miraculous, but now it's healing really fast and the information I'm getting is that a receiving spot in the back of my hip has been opened up, especially because in my Goddess Glow mentorship group, we're working on the sacral chakra right now, so it all makes sense, you know? Another thing is to make sure that you get outside and just neutralize your energies because if you go outside and do a visualization of the sun and all of the cosmic energy that's rocking Earth right now coming through you and kind of harmonizing with the planet and you're an instrument for that harmonization, it will take a lot of pressure off of your personality trying to do it or trying to face your problems head on because Mercury retrograde, it's not really the time to do that either, but you also shouldn't hide from them. It's kind of difficult to navigate. So when I lay down or sit down and meditate, what I've often been feeling is my kundalini energy moving in a really funny way, either really interestingly back and forth or like spiraling around or something. So as soon as I just not only don't resist it, because I think we just naturally resist it because it's a new motion. So as soon as I not only not resist it, but go with it, then my entire reality has been harmonizing and giving me blessings like soon afterward, within 10 or 15 minutes or so. And oh, there are a couple more things. One, to good care of your body, I'm juicing. I've kind of been fasting, haven't been especially hungry, haven't wanted heavy foods, but maybe you are wanting heavy foods to ground. Whatever you want, just go with it. Just go ahead and give your body what it needs right now. And also, I found out that when I have these energy surges, you can download this energy into your crystals, guys. Those of you who use crystals, who know how they can absorb certain energies. So this is actually a wand someone gave me over a year ago, and I have only started using it this weekend because it just happened to be sitting there and called to me. And now I'm downloading all this energy into this quartz coin and divide in here and all these spirals I don't know what I'm gonna use it for later I have never really been one to use wands but I guess it's gonna come up for something so if you're into crystals definitely keep your crystals around and pour that extra energy if you're gonna need them so anyway blessings on this crazy time set your intentions and ride the wave it's all beautiful everyone's always doing the best they can including us and let's all just stay in self-love and love in each other I'll see you again very soon